The parallelogram method is used to compute a resultant vector given any two component vectors that are concurrent at a point in space. A resultant vector may replace component vectors without changing the effect on a body. Conversely, component vectors may replace a resultant vector without changing the effect on a body. This is one way of adding two vectors to find the magnitude and direction of an equivalent resultant vector. When given two vectors, v and w for example, draw a parallelogram, which means that the side opposite of vector v is parallel and has the same length as v, and the side opposite of vector w is parallel and has the same length as w. The resultant vector is drawn from the tails of vector v and w to the diagonal corner of the parallelogram. The resultant vector r is equivalent to the sum of vector v plus vector w. It may replace vectors v and w without changing the effect on a body. To demonstrate some of the geometry and trigonometry associated with parallelograms, Let's combine force vectors P and Q into a resultant force vector. Let's create a parallelogram where the sides opposing P and Q are of the same magnitude and direction of P and Q. This means opposing angles are also equal. All interior angles must equal to 360 degrees. And since we already know that phi is 93.21 degrees, alpha must be 86.79 degrees. Now that we have these interior angles, let's investigate the resultant vector r. The law of cosines works well for oblique triangles. We can find that the magnitude of r is 109.27 pounds. To find the direction of r, we can use the law of sines on this same triangle. The angle between p and r is therefore 66.02 degrees. Now that we know the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector r, we can use it to replace vectors p and q. Let's assign a coordinate system to vectors p and q and express them in vector notation. We can then investigate r as their algebraic sum. The components of p are 40 pounds in the x direction and 30 pounds in the y direction, and the components of q are 55.4 pounds in the x direction and 83.2 pounds in the negative y direction. By summing the x component of p and the x component of q, we can obtain r sub x, which is 95.4 pounds. And by summing the y components, we can find that r sub y equals negative 53.2 pounds. Therefore, resultant vector r equals 95.4i minus 53.2j in pounds. Visualize vector w extending from the tip of vector v. While vectors can't actually be moved from their line of action, this is another way to imagine the parallelogram method, commonly referred to as the tip-to-tail method. This method is very useful in visualizing a resultant vector, especially for multiple vectors. Here, we can find the sum of vectors a, b, and c by lining them up tip-to-tail.